Hi, welcome to Excel Video 43. This is the last video I'm going to do on tables, and I'm going to try to make a pretty complicated subject easy and not get into too many, too many of the details with these, the way references work in tables. Here's the table that we've been working with over these lectures. I've hidden a bunch of these columns. You see it goes A, B, C, and then E, F, M. So I can show you how to make formulas that reference cells inside a table. So what we're going to do, let's assume that our cost, our physician cost for this procedure, we've calculated to be 60% of the revenue. So we're going to do 0.6 times the revenue and hit return. And look what Excel does for me. See right here, they have, let me see if this helps you. We'll go here. So we go to the design tab, so you can see that the name of the table is EM underscore table. And so what we did is we took 0.6 times EM underscore table, and then in brackets they put pound this row comma revenue. And what Excel is doing is it's saying go to the EM table, go to the, the same row that you're on, and look at the revenue field and multiply it by 0.6. I'm not going to get into all the details of the structure and the formatting and trying to get the brackets right and whatever because I don't have to. All I did was, let's do one more undo, equals 0.6 times that and hit return. And the first thing it did is it did the uh, all this reference for me. The next thing it did was it took the this column down the entire table for me and said, hey, you know, if you want to do it here, you probably want to do it there, 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 and it does it all for you. And I say, you know what, this is rounded. I really wish I didn't have the decimal there. So what I can do is I can do equals round, comma, go to the end, comma, zero, and hit return. And it's rounding them for me automatically, and they all automatically update all the way down the column. And you don't have to be in the top either. Let's take this 176 and say, well, really, my cost isn't that. It's 0.445. And every single row in the column now is 0.445. It's really clever the way Excel makes your life easy trying to do this column. And remember how we format it so that the first and the last column in each row is highlighted? As soon as I add another column, Excel says, oh, well, you're not the last row anymore, revenue. Now it's this one. And if I want to put a name there, we'll call this cost. And away we go. Let me show you one more formula while we're in here. Let's assume that we want to do Greenville, South Carolina, all in one field for whatever reason. So we're going to do equals, and we're going to just arrow over to Greenville. And then we're going to do an ampersand and put a space in quotes in between it, another ampersand, and we'll arrow over to the state field. And look at Excel's got that going. So look what Excel's done for me. It's calculated that, hey, I'm still an E&M table, I'm on this row, and I want the city field, and I want to put the state field there, and let's drag this out. And I've got Greenville, South Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, all set up and ready to go. And you say, oh, man, you know, I wish I'd put a comma in there. And rather than having to go do it once and copy it all over the place, I'm going to pick this cell right there, click right there. I'm going to put a comma and hit return. Now they've all got commas. And again, cost isn't my last column anymore, so we're going to highlight this, and we can call this city, comma, state. And that fast, it's very easy to add additional fields, additional columns to a table. So if you've got monthly data and you want to add, you know, August and September or 2009, 2010, whatever it is you want to add, it's very easy to put data out here, particularly if it's based on data that's already in the table. It's easy to just do a formula and go. Or you can copy and paste data here from another source and just keep adding to your table. And Excel knows, hey, I'm going to keep the formatting the same. I'm going to put it and include it as part of this table. It's a very clever way to use this table structure. Again, if you want to get complicated and make these, these formulas work in a, in a more complicated setting, we can easily you know, uh, go to help and understand the exact formatting here. But you don't have to. All you've got to do is uh, point the cell you want, and Excel does the formatting for you. It's a clever way to do the formatting inside a table and to automatically calculate things and uh, copy those formulas down all the way through your table. Hope you've uh, enjoyed and benefited from this discussion on tables. Next time, we're on to a different subject. Thanks for watching.